Hi guys, Squirrel here, and welcome to another episode of Trucking School. In this episode, I'm going to cover how to reverse a truck. More specifically, how to reverse a truck with a trailer. Now, reversing a vehicle is not that hard, but reversing a truck is a lot, lot harder. The reason for that is because of the way the truck works when you reverse it with a trailer attached. If you've ever tried to reverse any vehicle in your life and then you've attached a trailer onto it, you'll know exactly what I mean. It's pretty tricky. I'm, in this video, I'm going to teach you uh, some of the principles so that you understand why the trailer is behaving the way it does. I'll then show you some practices, some techniques, and hopefully will improve the way that you can reverse trailers. Now, I've brought myself over to a motel in Ely, so if you press M on the map key, you can bring up the map and you can see where I am. I'm up in Ely and I'm at a little hotel just here, or rather a motel. It's a motel? It's a motel. It's not a hotel, it's a motel. And uh, yeah, the reason I've picked this one is because it actually has a parking area that goes all the way around the back. So it's kind of interesting to practice reversing trailers. You can reverse trailers down these narrow corners here, right round the back, and keep going for a full loop if you want to. When you finish this video, I do recommend you come back to this place with a trailer and have a go at it yourself. So let's go ahead and press the one key on the keyboard and we'll put the truck into reverse. Now, currently the front wheels are pointing in a straight line, so as I begin to reverse, the truck goes in a straight line. This is not going to change. If I begin to turn the wheel to the right, the truck will start to turn. And you can see that in the mirrors. If we go to external camera, you can see the truck is turning. If we turn the wheel even more, what's happening is the turning circle is getting tighter. If we go back forward again, leave the wheel where it is, you can see the truck just simply follows the line that it took previously. There's no difference. Put it into reverse and it goes back again. More importantly, if I start to straighten up the wheel, my truck will stop turning. It will actually go in a straight line. This is what most people understand. Without steering, my truck will not turn. It will follow a straight line, like that. That's what happens when you don't have a trailer attached. Now we're going to go ahead and attach a trailer in a second, and you can see that is simply not the case once we attach a trailer. Things work differently. So, what creates the articulation on a truck? Well, simply, it's that, right there in the middle of the chassis. That's called the fifth wheel. And what happens is, you reverse into the trailer, and the kingpin, which is the pin that you can see sticking down from the trailer there, goes into the fifth wheel and locks. That creates the articulation point. At that point, everything changes when you start to reverse. So let's go ahead and attach the truck to the trailer. There we go. And now things are going to change. Now, before we start reversing, I want to try and get you to understand a few little principles so you'll understand what's going on and why things are doing the, the things they're doing. So let's go ahead and detach the trailer. Now, if you look at a trailer, it only has wheels at the back. And that is really, really important. Not only that, but on most trailers, those wheels do not steer. They are simply pointing in a straight line. What that means is, it's very, very similar to how something like a wheelbarrow would work, or a wheelbarrow which has wheels fixed at the front. You are going to pick up this trailer on the kingpin at the front here, and the only way that you can control this trailer is by pushing it. And the only way you can steer it is by pushing it to the left or pushing it to the right. It has no other way of steering. It has no steering wheel, no turning axles. So, when you're thinking about reversing a trailer, try to think of yourself with your truck picking up this trailer and pushing it backwards. And if you want to turn it, you're going to have to push it around. So, if you want to turn it to the right, as we're looking at it, you're going to have to push the front to the left. Let's bring the truck back onto the trailer and you'll see that in action. So, here we are. Our truck is attached back on the trailer now. Now, let's stick it into reverse. Now, if we want it to turn to the left, remember as we did before, if we want the truck to turn to the left, then all we need to do is turn our wheel to the left and start reversing, right? Well, no. Immediately, you can see what's happening. Although our truck is going the direction we expected it to, watch what happens with the trailer. 
The trailer is now going in completely the opposite direction. That is the most common thing that fools people. That is the biggest mistake they make. They can't understand what is going on. And the reason is because if you look what happened to your truck, it started to turn to the right, which pushed the, the front of the trailer to the right, which caused the trailer to go left. Remember what I said to you about picking up the trailer. If you want it to turn left, you need to push its front to the right as you look at it. Let's go back and straighten up and try that again. Only this time, what we're going to do is we're going to turn the wheel the opposite way. So we'll put it in reverse. We're going to turn the wheel to the right. Now, as we're looking at this, our truck is going to go to the left. And so is the front of the trailer. But as the front of the trailer starts to go to the left, the trailer will actually start to turn to the right. So at this point, I'm going to straighten up the wheel. And this is an important difference now. My truck is now driving in a straight line but the trailer is continuing to turn. The turning circle is getting sharper and sharper and sharper. If we want it to straighten out, what we need to do is turn the wheel the opposite way so that it's following the same direction as the trailer. What we're now doing is, in effect, bringing the trailer back over where we want it. So you can see the turning circle of the trailer is getting less and less. If we keep going, we can move all the way around the front of the trailer until we're in line with it again, at which point we could straighten up the wheel and drive in a straight line. In essence, what you have to remember when you're reversing a trailer is that you're pushing it. That's the way to think of it. Try to go into an external camera. The external camera is very, very useful. Do it by pressing the number two key. And don't be afraid, don't, don't even attempt to sit inside the vehicle and reverse because this is a lot harder. Just go into external camera when you're learning and do it this way. Once you understand that what you're doing is pushing this trailer, if we want this trailer now to go to the right so that we can park it in that bay, we simply need to make our truck push the front of the trailer to the left, like that. Once it's set up, it will continue to turn. Whenever we feel more comfortable, we need to straighten up again. Now, this kind of thing only comes with practice, but in essence, what you need to do is look at the trailer's back wheels there. Look at the direction they're facing. Look at the line of the trailer. We need to get that box of the trailer lined up with that box on the floor. So watch the angle it's making and start to bring your truck around at the point where you feel like it's straightening up into the area you want it. This is going to take practice. But if you come here, this is the ideal chance you've got to make sure that you can reverse your trailer into a space like that. So let's try something a little bit more advanced. Let's try and reverse the trailer around the back of this motel. How do we do it? Well, similar principles to what I've already told you. Remember, we want the back of the trailer to turn, okay? We want it to turn to the right as we're looking at it. So what we need to do is push the front of the trailer in this direction. So again, we stick it in reverse, we turn our wheel so that we're gonna push the front of the trailer to the left. That's gonna set up that turning. As soon as we set it up, we can even straighten the wheel off to stop it turning sharper. And off we go. Keep your eye on the back wheels of the trailer. Look at the turn they're making. Are they coming in too sharp? Are they going to hit the wall? Is the trailer going to go into the wall? Yes, it is. So what do we do? We turn the opposite direction. So the truck comes back around the front of the trailer and stops the trailer from turning too sharply. Like that. Now we can see what's happening. It's following the line around again. So we'll straighten the wheel off. And look at this. The trailer is continuing to turn even though we're just driving in a straight line. Once things start to get to the point where we want to straighten off, again, just turn the wheel so that the truck comes around the front of the trailer and straighten off the reverse. That is the basic principle of reversing a trailer. Remember, you're pushing it. It has fixed wheels. Think of it as picking it up, the front of the truck, the trailer up, and moving left or right. All you've then got to do is think about how do I get my truck to do that? Now, on the external camera view, it's a lot easier to understand, but let's have a look at that from the inside of the cab. That's where it gets a little bit more advanced. All right, so here I am. I'm back in exactly the same place I was before, only this time I'm going to press the number one key and go first person. Now, one little trick when you're in the cab. You can obviously see the mirror on the left here, but if you press the F2 key, that will bring up the right mirror. 
so that you don't have to keep looking over to see what's going on the right mirror. You can even bring up both mirrors. Just press the F2 key and it will cycle through the two different mirrors. Now when you're first learning to do this from within the cab, those mirrors can be very, very useful. Also, if you move the mouse and turn to the left, your driver camera view will go outside of the truck. Notice that when you do that, you lose that left-hand mirror because you can clearly see what's going on in that mirror anyway. So this is known as a near side reverse. This is where we're turning the trailer around the same side as we are in the driving position. So we're driving on the left and we're going to turn that trailer there. We can stick our head out of the window and see what's going on. This is a near side reverse. An off side reverse is exactly the opposite. It's when we're reversing that direction, we can't stick our head out of that window. So let's do a near side reverse first because they're a bit easier to deal with. So you could either sit in the cab in this position and do it, or you can put your head out of the window like this. Whatever you choose, it's your preference. I personally find this a lot easier. I'm going to do this because I can then, we can then look at the rear of the trailer and see what's going on. So let's go ahead and put it in reverse. Now remember, when we've got our head out the window, we're working exactly like the external camera really, in that we want the trailer to go right. So what we need to do is we need to get our truck to push the trailer front to the left. So here we go, we set up the turn, straighten up now. So I've straightened up the wheel. You can see the trailer continues to turn. We follow it round, keep your eye on things. Use the right mirror there to check for obstacles. And now I'm going to try and straighten up. I've gone full lock left. So my truck is coming around the front of the trailer here. I'm going to straighten up and allow it to turn a bit more. Again, check your other mirror, make sure there's no obstacles. Exactly the same as the external camera view. Our trailer is now in a straight line. We can straighten the truck up. And the job is done. Exactly the same principle as external camera. There is no difference. Everything I've just taught you works just as well in this particular view. Where it gets slightly more tricky is when you try to do the same thing, but from within the cab entirely. So you don't stick your head out of the window at all. So let's take a look at that. So let's line our truck up first. There we go. So we're in a similar position as we was before. I'm going to jump in the cab. Now, this time, I'm going to face forward. This is more like what a real truck driver does. He kind of uses his mirrors. He looks over to the right to check that mirror, looks over to the left and checks this mirror. I'm going to leave those two mirrors in the view there and just keep it like this. So, again, we're going to start reversing. So, if I start to turn to the right, you can see in the trailer view there, on the top left, you can see that the trailer is starting to begin its turn. So, keep your eye on the turn. And then when you think it's ready, just straighten the wheel off. Let the truck continue its turn. And as it starts to make its turn, we're going to start bringing the truck around the front of the trailer just to straighten that curve off. So there we go. You can see it's straightened it off now. Now, practice and experience will teach you when to straighten up the wheel and when not to. Whether you need more turn or whether you don't. That is just something you're going to have to practice. Just come to a place like this and just do these basic maneuvers over and over again, just like drills, until you've got it right. Once you've mastered this near side reverse, you'll be able to make difficult parking and you'll get bonus XP for it, but you'll have a lot of satisfaction knowing that you can park a truck and a trailer that's articulated. So now we're going to attempt the blind side reverse. Now the blind side reverse the only thing that makes this more difficult is it you are slightly blind. That's hence the name blind side reverse. It's exactly the same principles. No matter which way you're reversing trailer, the principles do not change. The only thing that changes is the visibility. Now I'm gonna stay in external camera for our first attempt because I want you to try and understand what's going on is exactly the same as what I showed you over there. Then we're gonna go into first person view and you'll see what the visibility is like. So as my trailer starts to reverse, I'm going to watch the uh, back wheels there and the white line, which acts as a rather nice guide into the parking lot. Same thing, I'm going to bring the truck around the front to push the trailer to the right, which causes the trailer to turn left as we're reversing. Straighten it up, follow the line around. Obviously I'm in a road here, so I need to be careful that uh, I don't hit this curb with my front wheel. But other than that, you can see the principle is exactly the same as reversing around the back of that parking lot. 
Again, it doesn't look that different when you're external camera view. What it really looks different though is when you do this from within the cab. Visibility is drastically reduced. Well, here we are, back in the same setup. I'm going to go ahead and press the 1 key, press F2 to bring up those mirrors, and we're going to stay in this position and do exactly the same thing. Now, you can see straight away the problem. Look at your top right mirror. You can't even see the trailer wheels currently. So, you're almost going to have to start guessing when to begin the turn. Again, this is going to come with experience. But if we start to reverse here, we can allow the trailer to give us a little bit more of a view as we go along and then I'm going to start my turn using those white lines on the road as a handy little guide now you can see the trailer has begun its turn using the top left mirror I can see where my truck is heading towards in terms of the curb so I'm going to start straightening up a little bit there this is a challenging reverse and this is something that you should only attempt once you've mastered uh, the near side reverse as I've showed you earlier uh, first person blind side reverse like this is definitely the ultimate challenge that you will make uh, so don't try this while you're still learning because you'll just get put off and think you can't do it and that's not what you want master the basics and the principles first before you even try to do this and don't be afraid to use that external camera use that until you understand what it is that you're trying to do once you've got to that stage, then you can think about getting inside the cab here and making that reverse. And there you go. And that's it for my how to reverse guide. I, I hope you've understood that. I hope you found it useful. Remember what we've learned. Um, we've learned that the trailer behaves differently because of the articulation point. Remember the principle of the wheelbarrow, you pick up the front of the trailer and you push it, push it to the left to make it go right, and vice versa. Remember to use the external camera while you're still learning, and then when you want to challenge, go for the internal camera, press to F2 to bring up those mirrors, and have a go. The spot we're in is a motel near Ely, there are many other spots just like this, go and find a suitable spot and practice, practice, practice until you've got it mastered. It's well worth learning how to do this because you'll get bonus XP for parking. In the next video, I'm going to teach you how to park the trailer. Now, we're going to take everything that we've learned in this video and apply it to real-world parking in the game. Hope to see you on the next video, guys. Until then, take care. Nappy trucking.